to behavior paths and delete the texture plus beta from the behavior paths because that's nothing yeah. it's not gonna do anything if you import it to a world anyways let's begin also don't ignore the fact that it has a copy so yeah and you know I'll just join okay so first I'm gonna show you the texture plus as you can see there's a blood in here it also changes the sun texture but it isn't really that big of a change it's just more orange there's also armor but I'm gonna show you the this section okay oh my God. anyways i'm sorry <laughs> okay so put this okay so this has the freezing up effect <laughs> okay it's it looks icy and yes i made it to circus why not I think I like that. And the wither, which has like a blue tint, because I think I think I already know this, but just in case you don't, I don't know that. let's just think of it like soul fire in the Nether. Okay, so I'm poison, and not my favorite, but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, I didn't even. Okay, let's try. Okay, it's kind of too yellow. I think it's not into <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the iron golem pet. Anyways, let's go to the ember sword. There's going to be a new ore. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, I spoiled. Okay, if you're my friend, some of these features I already showed you. Okay, the ember or um, spawns in the nether from wiser to white dirty. They spawn like diamonds as well, but in a different level. Please drop ember ingots, which can craft the sword of embers and the item that isn't in the game yet. Oops. Which is the tool of embers. I'm gonna add that like an enhanced to versions of um existing tools. Like fishing rod, the mighty rod with switch, you can fish in the water. And so I still don't know how to do it yet. But anyways, let's put this on the ember swords. First, I'm crafting my swords for ember swords is ember in god mystic. Put the ember ore in the furnace and you'll get ember in god. Okay, so this will. Okay, I, I'm not gonna say you it is because you don't know what the fossil part is yet. Which we'll showcase later. Okay, so. These um, drop a random sword. Each of them has a rarity. Okay, so. The hostile is the most common. The next one is Legacy. I don't remember. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the heck? Oh. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, what is this? Yeah. Go. Oh. Mm -hmm. And if you get. Oh, wait, oops. Oh, yeah, I should have drawn that away. I need to kill food. <laughs> anyway. If you get nine of the same swords, you can upgrade them into a little dresser. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna add another tier. Oh gosh, okay, wait. Okay, so here. If you get 9 of the same sword, you'll get like 
For an example, for if you get nine shiny gold sword, I mean resting gold sword, you'll get a much better one, which deals twenty damage. Okay. The resting gold sword turns into the shiny gold sword. The legacy sword turns into the legend sword. The pearl power turns into the conduit power, and you get it. You get the idea. Anyways, go on. These are the swords. Oh wait, it actually shows the rarity here. I forgot. Okay, so the most common is sword of pasta, legacy sword, pro power, sword of darkness, commander, sword, resting gold sword, deep dark sword, ashen sword, venom sword, and vanishing sword. Um, this order is the rarity from the most common to the most rare. The best one from tier 1 is Vanishing Sword. I can just see. Well, if you upgrade them, you'll get the Bone, bone Breaker Sword, Legend Sword, Conduit Power, Shadow Sword, Remastered Commander's Sword, Shiny Bow Sword, The Skull Sword, The Flaming Sword, Acid Sword, and Universal Sword. <laughs> Mount the swords. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna try to make something. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for him to join. Okay. I really don't want to hit Anyways, let's work on the pets now. Oh, and he's not here yet. Wow. Anyways, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna show you the oldest ones first because some of. Um. Since. Do you guys already know four of these pets? Anyways. Okay, I don't want to summon a creepy. I don't think I have my briefing. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, we're safe, we're safe. Okay, the speed of pet levitates. You just have to be careful not to explode. <laughs> for them to explode. If you use this two times, you'll eventually kill a creeper. Dang it! Whatever. Probably the most useless. <laughs> I, I, I guess, like the zombie bat turns villagers into zombies. It's good to shoot for anything triggers. And yes, it actually turns them into a villain, zombie and villagers. Okay, I need a universal sword. Oh, I deleted them. Okay, I need to roll one. Why is this having. Stop! Oh my god! Where are all of Oh. <laughs> okay, anyways. Let's get the idea. This could be good for sharting to trade up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take this away. Okay, so the witch bet. Which pet summons a uh, mob? <laughs> I will protect her, that's see. And this mob um, gets wither but only has 8 health. So, yeah, it's just good for guardians. Anyway, the next one is the portal pet. If you use it the first time, you'll set your location to where you want to use the portal pet. Imagine if I'm here, then it teleports me there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very buggy right now. But I'll fix that if I can, if it's possible. I can 
also wait for it to despawn. That's how you relocation it. Can you stop? Oh my god. Stop. I really just want to. Oh, you want to summon some witch bat? You can also make an army. Surrounding your base. Okay, anyways. Now we have to go first. But. What's your comment? I'm not gonna go to the bed pet yet. The bed pet requires multiplayer. Okay, so the first one is the sheep pet. You can see that it says white. That means you can dye it. Unlike the one in X Y, which you only get white color. Okay, I actually need. Um, okay, so wait. Okay, so if you smell it, I know the glass furnace. Actually, you can smell a normal furnace as well. While well, waiting for that to smell. Oh, wait. I guess it changes the color. And it cycles through all of the colors in Long Minecraft. I almost said Long Minecraft. Okay, so for an example, you smell the black sheep. Um, you can turn this into a brown sheep. If you turn, if you smell the brown sheep, you'll get the red sheep. It's on order. And yes, these give you um, the wool. Also, you don't need to worry about this message. If you use the starter kit, it will automatically cancel that. Okay. okay the next one is the shield pet, which gives you resistance. Which is very strong. I think it's resistance or oh, its own resistance. Too. Okay, so this also teleports arrows to mm, the nearest monsters. If there's arrows on the ground, but so far there it doesn't work yet. I don't know how to fix this. Why do I keep spoiling? <laughs> Anyways, I'm so sorry. <laughs> The busher block. I guess I need the busher block for the camouflage. Okay, so the camouflage bed gives you invisibility when you're in a bush. And yes, the invisibility is longer than the cooldown of the camouflage bed. And yes, this is probably the most terrifying bed I have ever made. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. It's so gross. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Also, the particles are invisible. It's really nice. It is. It is. The bed cut. If there's a player here. Oh, I don't. I actually don't want to use this because I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of that blood moon. Okay. Never mind. It's actually a if <laughs> you guys is not here. He wants to see the features. Okay, so if you use the bed pet, you'll get slowness and blindness. And if it's multiplayer, it turns to time to day. This is because there's a lot of problems in multiplayer where you need to, where you need everyone to sleep so the time sets to day. But with this pet, it's solved. Anyways. Oh yes, the armor part is also a diamond now. Okay, so for some reason, I
The most common. Okay, now she. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do Okay, I'm gonna set the game with the beast real quick. Okay, so wait. Okay, so now that we're gonna do this one, let's focus on the next one. Platinum um, armor. The most strongest. Actually, not really. <laughs> It's going to be, it's not going to be the strongest when the features, like some of the features are here now. Okay, so, it says diamond, but, except it's in a metal form, which is platinum. Okay. Like I said, metal vents in other dimensions. And this dimension, Duncan is the strongest one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this also adds theory. Okay, some of you. Okay, so I'm sorry, but I promise you I came up with this. And if it's actually from other mods, I'm very, 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 very sorry. I just like the idea. Tint. And from the Minecraft, yes, three was the first build up, and it was from the Virgin Minecraft. The season one, you can see that the top is yellow. Okay, so Oh, <laughs> I need a mannequin. Oh wait! Oh my gosh, yes, I, I forgot all our moves and exist. I shouldn't have done this during <laughs> the first version. I shouldn't have done this earlier. What am I doing? I'm so dumb. Anyways. Okay, so here. Okay, so armor change. Like canisters now have a texture. Okay, so. Wait. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is hard to explain. Okay, so. If it's half, that means the number of the um, hearts in the heart canister. If it's like half, it means it's an odd number. If it's red, it's between um, one. It's between one and two. If it's green, it oops. If it greens, it means it's from three and four. It's so hard to explain. I feel like pay attention to the crafting recipes of the hard canisters. You'll understand why this makes sense. I'm gonna leave that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna leave that for you to figure out. Anyways. Let's start with the emerald armor first. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just <laughs> the likings are gone. Atom makers. Atom maker. Atom maker. Please fix this bug because I really want to see how beautiful the likings are. Hello. Oh, I think it's the likings. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that makes more sense. Oh wait, we can just wear this. Oh my god. That's nice. need a sapphire helmet. I mean, wouldn't that be a little obvious? Hopefully. And the next one. Oh wait, oh, I forgot. Also, don't ask why the ten heart guy is not here. Because that's probably the most useless because we're already at ten hearts. Probably didn't showcase all. Oh wait, the zombie pet you need emerald, blood of flesh, and ender pearl. Yeah. Mm, a wool, diamond, wheat for the sheep pet. I probably missed some. I'm sorry if I did. Okay, to craft a primary book, you need a book and a magic dust on the top. For the secondary, you'll need another magic dust, but that doesn't exist yet because I'm not complete with the secondary ones, but I'm close. Okay, so you're, you only need to craft one. Okay, so this will show you the craft these. But I just don't know how to modify written books. It's hard, okay? Why is there a stone here? Okay, wait. Anyways, the next one is nuggets. I forgot about this one. Okay, so the user is like ordinary nuggets. You can craft them back. Okay, a 
also get a graphite stone. I'm gonna add more of these in the future. Okay, and you can turn these back. Places. It's obvious that you place this in a special dirt. Oh wait, I think I haven't shown you how to craft special dirt now. Okay, so for the special dirt, you need forgery slime ball, which drops some dangerous slime. They spawn around the world. Okay. Like around the overworld. You need rotten flesh, dirt, and bone meal. Okay, so this looks like the um amethyst seeds, but yeah. Okay, so if I need to of the the seeds. Okay, so again, we can focus on the ones that. Can't be obtained and survival for now. Okay, I'm gonna get a platinum. Like I have to spend For the common three, this is a barrel which gives a random loot. So. Yes, this one. I promise you, it's random. There we go. Stop. <laughs> you can only get this from modded fishing rods, which I am working on. And the software with the blocks is... Can I help therapy? Like, can I try? What? Okay. <laughs> software with the blocks. Where it's like normal lucky blocks. But my luck, this is gonna explain some blaze skins. Oh! It is going to give me. The reason why I haven't added this yet is it's incomplete. Because there isn't. I haven't added the full. Ooh, magma golem! I promise it's a magma golem. It's just actually this is no golem. Anyways, I'm not gonna break any of these just in case it sums a blaze again. <laughs> it's incomplete. That's why I haven't added it yet. The most OP a drill. To craft a drill you need you need netherite, nether saw, block of iron, and electrium powder. Did I forget something? Oh yeah, I did. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm sorry. Okay, let's focus on the soul taker first. Okay, for the soul taker, you need um you need armatin and a stick. To craft armatin, you need to make black magic powder. To make magic powder, you need you need to smell the magic. Dust in the furnace. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, because this is modern. Okay, so what this does is it turns ghosts into spawn shard. But I am going to change that so it drops souls, which is used for crafting things for necromancy. And necromancy works like the witch pet but instead it um makes what is it again it summons like um vanilla mob an example it's um you unlock the creeper summon and if you 
used the necromancy wand. It summons a creeper to help you fight off other creepers. Yes. It's hard to explain. But if you have a Discord server, you can see whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Anyway, the drill um, takes very deep. Okay. Okay. It only stops when there's an ore blocking its way because. Yeah. So you can mine it very easily. The reason why I made this expensive because it's OP. You literally got a lot of diamonds. Anyways, the most useless for now is the Aquamarine. Aquamarine spawns at this lake. No, it's not a lake. Okay, so if you move in the ocean and like dig straight down in the ocean, if you look at the Aquamarine. Oh, okay. So I'm going to let's see. Aquamarine is used for magic. For now, it doesn't do anything. Okay, the program Azure Light. It is like the Aquamarine or it's useless, but in the future, it isn't. It's going to be very, very useful. I don't know if it's going to be that. I mean, and that. But the Dye Ore is the most useful out of all the ores. For now. Okay, so. If you break a die or it'll drop missing die, which I think I already showed you. You can also craft missing die by putting glass in a stone cutter. Okay, so to discover what the missing die is, you select what the die you want. But for an example, I want orange, and turn the missing die into orange die. Get the idea. Okay, so this is a tweak, actually. Okay, so the starter kit now gives 20 cup chicken. I can I'm not gonna make a new movie. Oh, hi! You're Alex. You're too late. <laughs> okay. Anyways, the next one is the villagers. Okay. The most oldest one is the dynamite villager. Okay, we can turn this block of ruby into rubies. Okay, you can level these. The rolling stone is up, and we're gonna summon the stone villager, which is the newest. So this needs stone. This gives stone a crown or half what? Crown. Okay, so Okay, so yes, it also works like a normal village. Block of candy, action. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so the new block of candy. This isn't really useful. Okay, while he's AFK, I'm gonna try the candy rocks. Also, the candy rocks. You put candy in the crafting table, and you'll eventually get the candy rocks. Okay, wait. I'm not gonna make a candy ink god because you already know why, I think. But it, just in case if you didn't know, um, since so the crafting recipe gives the candy rock, you can't also have the candy nuggets at the same time. Okay, so anyways, 
You put candy, and you'll get candy, rocks. To grab your candy yo-yo, it gives string. You need string and candy. You are waiting for him. The candy rock, what's special about this rock is... Um... Is you can spam it, like spam or night of night. We'll be working at the night time I see. Okay. Candy yo yo gives weakness. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> Sorry. Block a program as you're not gonna choke a save. I'm not gonna show these that because it's a weakness. The Ash and Simon block is used for the nature runes. The nature runes is used to craft the mud seeds. You need lapis for the cotton seeds, you need um, emerald for the amethyst seeds, um, you need gold for the end dust seeds, which is nice. So, it also adds a need. Oh, also to craft the Ash and Slime block. You need to put um, a forgery slime block here, and you'll eventually get it. Okay, so let's move on. Rupees. I'm not going to show this that much because it's the most useless. <laughs> Bye. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna let that villager escape. The rupees is used for glossy. To craft the rupees, you need. You need to put a block of ruby in a stone cutter, and you'll eventually get it. But I do not recommend using it yet because it's pretty much broken. Oh gosh, ignore that. Perhaps you need to make Please. Okay. Oh, I need a button. So what? Okay, where so? Did I clear it? What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna grab a steel pickaxe. Nah. I don't wanna. Ruin the blood moon aesthetic. I forgot how to spell aesthetic. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, let's work on the fossil ores. Okay, so you can find this spawning around the world. Do I need a player? Okay, wait. Mm, no. No. <laughs> you can go now if you want. Okay, so anyways. We spawn on the overworld. Okay, bye! Wait, what? Oh wait, I thought it doesn't work. Oh, so I might play room. I might record the box later because I'm just so obsessed with my new account. It's so clean and I'm not accepting anyone's friend request unless you're actually one of my friends. Yes. Oops, why? Okay, so the fossil ores. If he just need to hold click them or right click them if you're using the other device. So the way the fossil works is if you put it in a stone cutter, you'll eventually find some things to you know like trade. It's like mining for gemstones and you eventually find a diamond. Oh my gosh. And then you sell it. Yeah, that's, that's really hard to sell it. Anyways, the more lucky you are, the better. Okay, so I 
face color and color. Okay, for example, he's legendary. Just one for his side. Decreases. Okay, the most common in the enhanced one is the rare fossil. So it's your choice if you want to risk it. Yes, you see, can get the common fossil. This is the enhanced unidentified fossil, is the only way you can get the mythic one. That's why it's pretty hard to get. There is rare, there is epic, there is legendary, and mythic. So yeah, let's focus on the dynamites now. Oh gosh, we need to stay away from this. The chaotic dynamite, which is my favorite. Okay, I'm not gonna show this. I'm not gonna show this this year. Black dynamite. Okay, I'm gonna have the Ruby Shocking Slave Dome. Idea where I got the chaotic dynamite from. The spammer dynamite, which has a 0.5 cooldown. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> the Ace of Dynamite, though, explodes, but the second one This is why. For the chaotic dynamite, you need anti dynamite, string, and spammer dynamite. Dynamite, oh wait, you just need a ting ting just in case if you didn't. Freezing dynamite, you need ice. Time tick, you need. TNT and string. Insta dynamite, you need dynamite and fire charge. Black hole dynamite, you need ender pearls. Spammer dynamite, you need airy dust. Just in case you're too lazy to get all of that, just j use a dynamite villager. Right. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I don't care. I just don't care. Okay, so, like, it's a mixture of Insta Dynamite and, um, Spammer Dynamite. It has a 0 0.5 cooldown and it instantly explodes. No! <gasps> okay, that's okay. At least it didn't explode the chest. Oh, gosh. Oh, wait. I still have the book and quilt. Don't worry. <laughs> I exploded it. Oops. Oops. Oh my gosh. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I think. I don't want to do this dynamite anymore because this is so chaotic. I don't. Let's just say away. Okay, the time tick dynamite um explodes from ten seconds, which is slower than an average dynamite. The black hole dynamite teleports to nearest entities to the dynamite so you know it will explode while they're in yeah. the freezing dynamite um doesn't let you escape unless if you're a player it lets you jumps. This also works on other mobs. 
But you can also combine the black hole and fusion dynamite so you, um, so you don't let the people escape. So yeah. Anyways. This we're going to Clover Wands. Oh gosh, my inputs are... Okay, so the Clover Wands is not the best way to get resources, but it's really good in an early game, and you need to get some things. Just use this. Okay, so... First, you're crafting this tree. Why? <laughs> okay. For the clover ones, you need... Wait, something is missing. <gasps> okay. <laughs> you need sticks and leaf. To get the leaf, you need... Yay! But I'm kinda sad it's not the year of the ox anymore. How do you got the leaf? Anyways, just... Oh no, this is not good. Anyways, you actually need cobblestone like this, but instead of diamonds, it's cobblestone. Okay, so to get the leaf, you need a leaves. It doesn't matter what leaves you use. A leaflet nest, you need a leaf. Okay, yeah. Also, if you didn't know, if you're new about Minecraft, to get leaves, you need to shear them. <laughs> okay, so the way the leaflet nests work is. Okay, put a summon one. And that's a sun texture, but. I'm gonna change that. I'm just too lazy, okay. Okay, so. Did you update? <laughs> it does that, so it's much more faster. Okay, so at the at the last update, you okay. One per cool, you can only use a leaf, one leaflet nest. Okay, I'm not gonna explain it because you don't even you didn't even download the um the. First one. Stop lagging, please. Thank you. Also, the, from what clever one you use, the better loot you'll get. Not the best, but yeah, it's still pretty good. You can multi. Yeah, that would be the best. Not really the best. You know, I just saw. Okay, goodbye. As you can see, once. Okay, so. Okay, so. For now. It's also. It's also. Since that's once. But. Since I exploded it. It doesn't say it's once anymore. Okay, so. Mm. The growth one gives you bone meal. Like this. Okay. The boost one. Okay. The boost one is originally for the elite one. And yes, I stole this from the end magic mod. Which is my mod. Okay. It's my mod. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, it's a, the obsidian wand. Oh, we don't have lava. Oh, yes, we do. There is lava into obsidian, so you can walk. So you walk like Elsa, but a magma monster. There we go. And also, a good way to farm 
um, obsidian, if you know how to use it too. The storm one, there's the weather too, thunderstorm. Which you can also, um, clear with the weather one. The firefly one throws a projectile that gives an invisible light. It works like the glowy bow from Lucky Blocks, but the light is invisible. Which is kinda nice for builders. This is a way to get the light blocks in survival. I just think it's really cute. Okay. The dashing wand. Oh, there's not enemies. Wait. I'm gonna add a cow here. I also stole this from Ed Magic Mod. It's teleport. Oh. <laughs> Teleports you to the nearest mob. Except for yourself, of course. I don't know if I think it works on players, but probably does. You should test it. The cursed wand. <laughs> it summons a projectile that. Oh gosh. It summons a projectile that gives the camera shake attack. So you can annoy players. You can also use that on yourself if you're stupid. Like me. There we go. Oh my god. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Okay, so the next one is the extraction one. Anyways, I'm gonna wait for the cooldown. Cooldown sucks. Okay. Okay, the cooldown is done. Okay, wait. The extraction one. Um, this is just like a levitation one, but the change is it levitates multiple mobs. Okay, so here. It also summons like a projectile, so you can like move where the extraction ones should be. Ow. Amethyst one. Um, so I'm like a rock. I'm bad at that turn, so I just turn um, and turn my into this. If you kill it, you'll gain regeneration. Which you can like farm. You can like summon a lot of amethyst. Which literally is an endermite. So you can like, when you're in danger, you can just smack, smack, smack the endermites. And now we're done with the guns. I'm almost at the secondary ones as well. I just want to do the matrix one. Oh yeah, okay, I'm gonna finish earlier. We're almost done. Oh my gosh! How the hell is it 54 minutes already? <laughs> I think this is probably the most slowest, and I'm sorry. Um, leaves, sand, and gravel. Oh my gosh! The one silliest one. Okay, so the airbrush. Um, it works like a hammer, like if you watch Neil's Record Adventure. But except it's like an. It's like an air miner. You also need to craft a specific type of airbrush depending on what dimension you are in. 
sign you can eat it. Okay, I actually don't have the items for this. Okay, wait. Okay, so here. Okay, so if you turn the sound heater, you'll turn to glass. Probably the most useless. I think I'm gonna turn it so it's harvestable grass, which I will be working on in the next couple days. The next one is the melting shard. It turns stone to lava. And yes, yeah, this is how chaotic this is. Probably, you're just gonna use this on BBB, I know. I don't really, I don't think you're gonna use this because this is probably the most. Um, chaotic way to kill yourself. Anyways, a stone age. Turns stone. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy crap! I don't know what you're gonna use this for, but. Here. Okay. The sapling crusher. Ow! Oh my gosh! The sapling crusher turns. Um, stone into cobblestone. Cobble so into gravel and gravel into sand. Oh, you shouldn't have done this, whatever. At least you have a desert now. This pretty much parries. Not really. Okay, so to craft this. Okay, so to craft this. Arium R, Flaming R, and Jungle R. The Ocean R is useless, I don't craft it. I guess to craft it, yeah. Okay, so for the airbrush, she need a log, Arium R, and a feather. To craft, okay, you also need one for each dimension. The melting shard, you need glass, Flaming Aura. And yeah, that's it. The air blower you need a stick and the area more. Uh. For the sapling crusher you need leaves, the jungle aura and a stick. For the stone age you need string, jungle aura and stone. For the melting I mean wait. Sorry. For the sand heater you need glass veins, iron ingots, and flaming aura. It's pretty useless. But if you have like silk fletch, it's actually not useless. Also, to craft the auras, you need an arium ingot and gold. Just search how to craft an arium aura. For the ocean aura, you need aquamarine. For the jungle aura, you need leaves and the gold. For the flame aura, you need fury and gold. That's pretty much it. And lastly, tweaks and fixes. I probably forgot, I probably missed some, and I'm sorry. I just don't have time for this, okay? okay so the first one is the made the health drone crafting recipe much cheaper. So, in the previous update, you actually need like nine. Wait, what should you? <laughs> You actually need nine of the same health gems, but now you only need four. So it's much cheaper. Okay, so the enchant one costs three levels instead of five. Okay, so in the previous update, you need like three, I mean five levels, but now it's three now. It's a little cheaper. Oh gosh. The next one is the blue blue pet. Now you use gold instead of diamonds. I already showed that to you. And the empty one costs more. Probably the most evil one. Okay, so to grab it, you, you now need four instead of two. Because why not? I'm evil. The end ended or gives ender pearls instead of ender dust. So in the past update, it drops like more 
and there does instead of as much it gives more and there doesn't compared to the overworld and or oh my god no. oh my gosh this is probably the most longest video I've ever made anyways the end and or or not drops and pearls because why not plus you can also turn ender pearls into ender dust because why not okay it's probably the most ugly thing forever but yeah, i mean chocolate now gives speed boost depending on what flavor you need it gives you more speed boost. Also, if you don't know how to craft the strawberry chocolate, you need strawberries, which you, you need to, to get bushes, and if you get a strawberry seed, you need to plant the strawberry seeds in the special tube, and then farm strawberries. And then you will get strawberry chocolates. Yeah. Okay, so the chocolate gives 30 seconds of speed too. But for the strawberry chocolate, it gives 50 seconds. It's pretty speedy. And then is wool now gives forestry, including the dyed ones. Okay, so if you put a wool here, it will give you the four strings. I promise to you, it works on every colored wool. I'll probably add it so it also does that in quilted wool, but the quilted wool's pattern recipe is a little quirky. Do oh wait, will we both fix? Okay, so in the past. It, the projectile will stay, so if you like break one of this, it will like still place another low stone. But now that's it's cleaner. Yay. Okay, so plus we have at least the magnet one and knowledge one fix. Okay, so I fixed it so because I actually experienced this. The radius of the knowledge round is like infinite, so if it's like very very far away, it will still work. Okay, so I'm gonna break some bushes. Okay, so now you need a specific radius for this. I don't remember what it is, but. Just you need to get close to the items to actually work. This also happens on the magnet one. That's also the same problem. Okay, so that isn't far away, but so yeah. This I think I'll call it a day. If I missed some, I'm sorry. Actually, so yeah. I could find us literally one hour now and appreciate the blood moon. The mod is going to be in the description or in the comments and on my Discord server, which I am going to link as well. So, yeah. So, yeah, bye.